enough space for that. An Alux, plural Alashob, is akin to the Maya version of a gnome or leprechaun. They're about as high as an adult's knee and wear traditional Maya clothing. They are created whenever a farmer builds a little house on his property for them, after which they'll help the corn grow for a period of seven years, making it rain and chasing off predators. They're usually invisible, and in spite of their benefit to the land, they like to play tricks on or frighten humans. Don't call one by name or you'll summon it from its home, and it won't be happy with you.
Hey, Laura, come here. I need to talk to you. This is an official document issued recently by the Holy See. In consideration of this mission having been badly damaged by an unusually violent and entirely unexpected volcanic tremor, they sent requests to every Spanish-speaking diocese, asking them to consider sending missionaries to restore and rebuild this holy site. Su arco es impresionante. ¿Es cazadora? A la misión le serviría mucho una cazadora. Tenemos una invasión de lobos desde antes del terremoto. No puedo quitarles los ojos de encima a estos niños ni por un segundo. Nada más hace unos días vi a este en el camino corriendo detrás de un lobo. ¿Puede creerlo? Dijo que solo quería jugar. Como si los lobos dieran la patita y jugaran a traer palos. This document describes the founding of the mission. There were four solar eclipses in this region around that time, in 1521, 1538, 1539, and 1543. Spanish missionaries reported that during each one, a vision of John the Apostle appeared on this site. So in his honor, the mission of St. John was built here in 1544. Twenty fifth of December, sixteen o three. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey. Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces.
Laura, come here. I need to talk to you.
All full up. Can't carry any more. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién está ahí? Ella es la que encontró el tesoro. ¿Verdad, Diego? Bien, bien. ¿Qué puedo hacer por usted? I overheard you telling the children about Maya ruins. Por fin alguien que pone atención. Well, you were right about the crosses. Isabella followed them to a hidden crypt. Ah, lo sabía, lo sabía. Nadie escucha al viejo Manu, pero yo tenía razón. So you were. And I bet you're telling the truth about those Maya ruins. Reconozco algo en su voz. La emoción de descubrir, de encontrar algo, algún lugar oculto desde hace cientos o incluso miles de años. There is something thrilling about that, isn't there? No hay nada igual. El sabor del aire rancio y polvoriento aún me acelera el corazón. La gente moderna, esos que se dicen realistas, se cierran a un mundo de posibilidades. No podrían creer las cosas que vi. Ah, lo que daría por ver eso de nuevo, una última vez. Perhaps I could be your eyes, your witness of those Maya ruins. Podría ser eso. Sí. Do you remember where the ruins were? Vaya, ¿dónde estaban? Recuerdo un lago, un lago con tres cascadas. Me gustaría darle una mejor referencia. Pero han pasado tantos años. I should be able to find it, and when I do, I'll come back and tell you all about it. Si hiciera eso por mí, hacer realidad esa historia sería sería tan. Say no more, Manu. I'll find it. I hope you've shined up those dancing shoes, Manu. I found the ruin. It was Maya, an ancient aqueduct. It was wonderful, just as you'd imagined. Sabía que lo haría. Ahora, cuénteme todo. The ruins had flooded because of the earthquake. I swam through tunnels teeming with peril. Maldito pez peligroso. A adelante. I found a vast cavern and a stone tower with massive heads carved into its sides. Los señores de Xibalba, ¿verdad? Increíble. ¿Qué más? It must have been an aqueduct of some kind. And you'll never believe this. Most of the machinery is still functional. Water wheels three men high turned as smoothly as the day they were built. It was amazing to see Manu, to be so close to all that history where no one has set foot in hundreds of years. Ah, puedo verlo, puedo olerlo, sentirlo, saborearlo. Hizo llorar de felicidad a este anciano. No tengo palabras para agradecerle. Qui quiero que tenga algo. Manu, I, I couldn't. Insisto, por favor. Es la primera reliquia que encontré. Es hermosa y compleja. Un cráneo decorado, 
Quiero que la tenga alguien que explora con la misma pasión que lo hacía yo en mi juventud. Nunca deje morir su curiosidad ni su capacidad de maravillarse. I won't. Thank you, Manu. An adhesive made of tree sap and powdered bone hold the jade and other gems in place within the wearer's teeth. A crude drill, perhaps made of obsidian, would have been used to delicately carve out the notches required to hold the jewelry in place.